Hello. It is me. I think the messages are working. Ah, oh, is this better? Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Ah, oh, okay, cool. Beautiful. Um, I've suddenly made it go really loud for myself, actually. Um, but it should be okay. What happens if I don't make him get dressed and just wander about? God, he's walking like she's fucking done our damage, isn't he? I don't know, he's kind of handsome. I'd have a go on him. Mm, he doesn't need a post sex pee. You should always pee after sex, that's what they say. Oh, it won't let you go out without putting clothes on, that's wank. <laughs>
just got a really that weird like not look clean. well it's a hotel room for one thing isn't it but I think it's supposed to be like a sleazy motel, whatever a motel. What is the difference between a motel and a hotel? I don't really know. Okay. Oof. Let's lover and leave her, eh, shall we? The spelling. The spelling, yeah. Uh oh. She's got found it out. <gasps> Creepy. this time and I had no idea. Ethan, what's the matter? I thought I meant something to you. Listen, I... You're a pretty good nurse for a fucking journalist! <gasps> Ethan, I, I, I wanted to tell you... Tarantino would love this for all the best eat shots. <laughs> I caught the origami killer. Maybe you'll get a book deal. I hope it went fucking worth it! Ethan, it's not what you think. I. You lied to me, Madison. All this time, you fucking lied to me. I thought you wanted to help me, but you're only thinking of writing a fucking book. It's true. I'm a journalist. And I knew that you were the father of the boy who had disappeared and. And I wanted to cover the story. But then I saw what you were going through to save your son. And... And I understood how much you love him. I wanted to tell you the truth, but I couldn't. I was afraid that you... That you... May not believe me. I was afraid that you'd ask me to go. All I want for you to find your son alive and when it's all over I want to be with you <laughs> oh do you want to reject her or forgive her forgive okay I'm a romantic I'm sorry, Ethan. I'm so sorry. I don't think I would forgive her just like that. I don't think I would never forgive her, but I think it would take me a bit longer to forgive her than that. You're leaving, aren't you? It's the last origami paper. The last letters. Yes. Take care, Ethan. relationship just consists of her patching him up a couple of times they're not exactly in love like I don't know just bizarre to me and if she loves him that much why doesn't she I'm go with him to time. help him wait for me I'll, I'll be back in 10 minutes oh, well, off I go No, nope, not that way.
La 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 la. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Oh, a vending machine. That counts as a meal, right? No, okay, clearly not. Cops. They're looking for Ethan. It looks like a raid. I'll just get it right for you. Come on, come on. Pick up the phone. Hello? The cops. They're in the motel. You've got to get out of here. God in heaven. Sorry, mate. Sorry, I made an impulsive decision. Surrender or jump. Surrender. Okay. Everything's gonna be all right. Interesting choice. Oh, we got a trophy for forgiving Madison. And oh, we got a trophy for. Oh, we didn't get a trophy for escaping, obviously. It says we got a trophy for something else as well. I don't know where it is. Ah, it's for getting arrested by Blake. Ah. Okay. I'm not here to judge you, Ethan. I'm trying to save the life of your son. We still have time, but it's running out. Help me, Ethan. Tell me what you know. Understanding sincere trust or guilt...
trust. Ethan, I'm trying to help you. I just want to understand what happened. But you have to trust me. Angry, desperate, convince all victims. Victims. Look at these, Ethan. Look at these. Eight photographs. Eight lives taken drowned in the goddamn rain recognize this one huh that's your son ethan that's sean he is still alive talk to me ethan say something poor ethan angry desperate or convinced You've lost, Ethan. What will you gain with one more victim? Huh? I kidnapped my son. But I can't remember what happened. I don't know where he is. The only way to find him is to let me out of here. I'm the only person who can save him. Skeptical, unbelieving, insistent, or aggressive. Far be it from me to point out that skeptical and unbelieving are the same thing. You say you can save him, but you don't know where he is. That doesn't make sense, Ethan. I love my son. I love my son. If you keep me here, Sean is going to die. Time's running out, Ethan. But frankly, the only thing I want to know is where you... I don't know. I would already have saved him if I knew where he was. All my characters wandering around this pointlessly. Last chance, and this time, I suggest... Where is Sean? I told you, I don't know. Intervene, threaten, defend, or convince. Intervene. On the answer. Um, I I answer. That the X. Blake! What are you doing? This guy's a killer! He's got no fucking rights! He's gonna tell me everything! Defend, convince, or threaten. Defend. Even if he is a killer, that doesn't give you the right to beat him. Whose side are you on, Norman? Are you defending this piece of shit? I'm defending the law, and the law says he is innocent until proven guilty. This guy's got no rights, do you hear me? No rights at all! 
but he's not. So, like, li Norman's literally right. Like, we know at this point in the story that it's Fuck. not Ethan. Right, do you want to be physical with Blake or threaten or convince? Convince. Triple you. If you beat him, his confession's worthless. Now throw the case out. Oh, I'm on the warpath. I don't know where I'm going. I don't like that the music's like so tense and I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. I haven't played this game for so long, I don't remember. Am I supposed to go and snitch into our boss maybe? Getting a cup of coffee? I can do that. Apparently that was the wrong flavour. Take Tripto or don't take Tripto. Don't take. Not to take it. Oh, sorry. I did say not to take it. Did Mars confess? No, not yet. He lost consciousness. We'll give him a break and then we'll get back to him. He must be tougher than I thought. Tough or not, he'll crack. They all do. In any case, congratulations, Lieutenant. You've done a fine job. I've called a press conference. Gonna kick off in one hour. I expect it'll be quite an event. Don't you want to wait until we actually got his confession? No point. We've got him dead to rights. That's all the press wants to know. <laughs> Ethan Mars is innocent. He truly believes that he alone can save Sean. What if he's right? I'll play those odds. i got to get him out of here.
confess or leave us. Leave us. Leave us alone. I... Uh, Lieutenant Blake said to... Please, leave us alone. Right. Uh, I'll be at the door if you need anything. Christ! Are you all right, Ethan? I gotta get out of here. I've gotta save my son. Let's see what I can do. <coughs> first coffee didn't go down very well, so I'm going to try again. Uh. No, nope, still not a fan. Of the sky again. Why not? Oh, I can't bother him. Okay. Go in my office. Well, I need to get rid of that guard, and I don't know how. Maybe I need a whiz, maybe that'll help. Is there like a fire alarm or something you could pull? I don't know, I'm wandering around trying to find something. Excuse me, sir, do you have a moment to talk about our Lord and Saviour? Apparently he doesn't. He's doing a really big shit in there. He's gone. Oh, he's back in the room. Um, 
he probably thinks I'm a crazy wacko now, which is fine. Nothing else I can do in here. I've already turned the camera off, so they won't know it's me. Oh no, man. Maybe I could release all the prisoners. A prisoner. I don't know how to. Could ruin his press conference by taking a dump in one of the seats. Him in the groin. I do not know what I'm supposed to do. Mr. Google. I don't know. It's cheating to Google. There's got to be something I haven't thought of.
try changing the viewpoint because that highlights kind of thing to me. Strip isn't there, this isn't helping is it? Should I Google and then give you hints? Oh, it's cheating! I don't understand how this can be beyond me. Gary, you can take a break. I'll keep an eye on him. You sure? Actually, I was busting for a piss. But you have already completed it before, so it's not really cheating. Oh, I got rid of him, look. Wait, 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 that's what I want you to do. Boom. Wait, where is, where's his desk? Now I've got to find his desk. One of the empty ones in the bullpen. Over this one. Master of pickpocketing. That's it. You're free. Here, put this on. They're having a break. If you're quick, you'll be able to slip out without being noticed. Head straight to the exit. Don't stop, don't talk, don't even think. Just walk. I don't know what to say. I... Just say you're gonna save your son. I hope so too, friend. He's very noticeably not one of them, though. Oh, I've got a trophy. For switching the camera off before saving Ethan. Hooray. This guy again. Raw eggs guy. It's funny because he was all about law and procedure and yet he just broke like the biggest procedural law. True, but also... Is it like he's FBI and the other guy's just a local cop, so he's got control of the situation anyway. And if he wants to release a suspect, isn't that his prerogative? 
floor? I'm sorry, Scott. You should have listened to me, Mr. Shelby. I told you to drop the investigation. Your son is a serial killer. How many people does he have to kill before you turn him in? Gordy has his faults, but he's still my son. You have no children, Mr. Shelby. You can't possibly understand. You leave me no choice. Not Shelby, but if it was why they all sneaky about it. For good. I don't know. Oh, things aren't going well for Scott Shelby, are they? isn't quite how I envisaged his day going. Lauren! Lauren, wake up! Lauren! Guess I'll just do this again. I don't switch on that ignition. I don't think it's going to ignite underwater. Oh, I was wrong. Why is that car so waterproof? I have no idea. Clearly, they don't make them that way anymore. Cigarette lighter he's gone for. Oh shit! Shit! Oh, and then promptly dropped. Oh, oh dear. I didn't want to leave her. I didn't want to leave her. I'm going to do it again. There we go. That's not very fair. It doesn't exactly make it clear that you're about to fucking leave without her, does it? I was going to take up swimming again. This isn't exactly what I had in mind. You got a car back at your place? Mine's obviously pretty fucked up. <laughs> yeah, sure. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna go settle a few scores. Come on, I'll take you home. I'll lock your doors and windows and don't let anybody in but me. Okay? Be careful, Scott. I don't wanna lose you. got a trophy for saving her.
Up. Oh, you get a trophy. Yeah, you got that. You get a trophy for not getting shot, so I'm gonna do it again. Sorry. Trophies. Look, I can't help it. I've got a problem. I'm gonna go back and get the ones that we've missed after, after we finish the playthrough. Within reason, as long as it's not gonna take like five playthroughs to get them all. Then. And I think there should be chat to select, I think, so. The problem is that I get confused between my lefts and rights. That's where the issue came from. Bloody hell, I'm a shot and a half, aren't I? I don't think this is legal, no matter how much we think these are the bad guys. To just storm into a house and shoot everybody. Haha, <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> Definitely not legal. You're a fucking liar. Now tell me the truth. No, no, please, don't hurt me. Last chance. I don't know. I swear, I don't know anything. <gasps> I feel like he constantly looks like he's about to, you know, like have sex Thank with you. him by slamming him down on the desk. Or maybe that's just me and my sexual depravity. Gordy, Gordy always wanted his fun, you know. He wanted to, to be like the origami killer. He kidnapped that kid and he held him under the water for a little too long. It was an accident, an unfortunate accident. He just wanted to play. He told me everything. He was crying. He was so sorry for what had happened. Uh-huh. Whatever he did. If he's fuck, it will be one hell of a twist. Gordy is my son. I mean, I'd be. I would be so here for it, though. No one will miss him. What? That boy, Gordy killed. No one will miss him. The street trash, like so many others. Disgusting pile of shit. And what about John Shepard? Why did you put flowers on his I, grave? I own the construction site where he died. I never forgot. I've been putting flowers on his grave for 30 years. John had a twin brother. What happened to him? I don't know. He was adopted, I think. His mother. His mother should know. 
Her name is Anne. Anne Shepard. My heart! My heart! Quickly! I need my pills! In that drawer! There! Oh, do you want to get him his pills or do you want to walk away? Get the pills. All right, we'll be a good person. Invincible Scott. Oh, and you get a trophy for saving his give Kramer his medicine. I feel like he should keep his pills on his person if they're that important. In his defence, he was sat at his desk before Scott came in and unsat him from his desk. You know what I mean? Hello, I'm looking for Anne Shepard's room. Please sign the visitor's book. Are you a member of the family? Yeah, you could say that. Oh, she'll be pleased to have a visitor. No one ever comes to see her. With the Alzheimer's, she has trouble remembering things, but it'll still please her. I have them in my pocket all the time. What if you went for a shit and forgot? <laughs> well, I mean, we've all got to die of something. I've had shits that feel like they could kill you. By the way, can you tell the difference playing on the PS5 or not? Yeah, I think so, but I'm on my laptop instead of my phone screen. I can definitely tell there's a bit of a difference. Obviously, the underlying game is still what it Hello, is. Mrs. Shepherd. But I think there is, is a bit of a difference to the superficial quality of the graphics no, and to the sound Shepherd, as well. And obviously, it um, loads a lot quicker. Long time, but here, I'm Introduce yourself or son. Introduce. My name is Madison Page. 
I'm a journalist. I'd like to ask you some questions about your son. I don't like this hospital. The food isn't very good, you know. Second son, foster family, John's brother or John. John. Do you remember John? My Johnny. He is a good little boy, you know. Foster family John's brother, second son, or Carnaby Square. Square. I know what happened at Carnaby Square. Do you remember? Carnaby Square. I think I used to live there a long time ago. We didn't have much money at the time, you know. We had to make do with very little. Second son, origami killer, John's brother or foster family. Second son. Your other son, Mrs. Shepherd, John's twin brother. What was his name? What other son? I have no other son. I never had any children. Origami killer, foster family, John's brother or son guilty. Son guilty. I think your son is in trouble, Mrs. Shepherd. He's done some terrible things. I need to find him. Do you understand? Terrible things you're telling me. He never came to see me, can you believe it? In ten years, never. No one forgets their mother, do they? John's brother, foster family or origami killer? John's brother. You had a son named John, and John had a twin brother. Do you have my pills? It's time for my pills. Origami killer or foster family. Foster family. To remember, Mrs. Shepherd, John's twin brother was placed with a foster family after the accident. What was the name of the foster family? I asked them for a television, you know. They said I didn't have enough money. It's a pity. I'm fond of television. Mrs. Shepherd, your son may be linked to a series of murders. Perhaps you have some information that could help the investigation. Are you a new nurse? Where are my pills? Well...
Did you make these origami figures? My little paper. I thought she was gonna make herself sexy again. <laughs> I showed my boys how to make them, you know. Yes, your boys, Mrs. Shepherd. John and what was your other son's name again? My other son? I only had one son. My little Johnny. Well, you didn't, did you, love? I'm stuck again. Why does God hate me? You don't seem to get many flowers, Mrs. Shepherd. No, but I love them. My son knows that I love flowers. I know he'll bring me some. Are these your children, Mrs. Shepherd? John and his brother? Is that them? They're good little boys. Their father never looked after them. Always drinking. They didn't have an easy life, you know. Does Mrs. Shepherd ever talk about her past? It's not all very clear to her now. Sometimes she'll remember the oddest things, though. I suppose if she sees something that reminds her of her past. Official papers, son, or visits. Took the square. Did she ever mention her sons? Sons? Well, she often mentions John. I, I think he drowned. Does she ever talk about her other son? I didn't know she had another one. I've never heard her mention it. Visits or official papers. Visits. Does she get many visitors? She's been here for ten years and you're the first. Sometimes, if you show her things, it seems to trigger a memory from her past. You might get it to remember. Thanks for the advice. Lovely orchid. My sons loved orchids. We used to grow them in the back. When John died, I laid orchids on his grave.
Yeah, is that all I get? Some bullshit about orchids. I love origami, but that's not my favorite one. You can make me guess which one your favorite one is. I used to do a bit of origami. I was quite good at it. I could make uh, birds that flapped their wings as well as, you know, the normal one that doesn't I could make one that did I love origami, but that's not my favorite one. Well, do you want to fucking tell me which one is your favorite one, love? I'd like to do it, but I think it would frustrate me too much. It's just folding paper though at the end of the day, like it's not that big of a deal. If you get it wrong or whatever, you can just go again. Oh, you know how to do these little dogs too. My children loved origami. I taught them how to do it. John loved the little dogs. He always wanted to call them Max. Max, Max, Max. All dogs with the same name. I was wasting my time telling him they couldn't all have the same name. But he always wanted his paper dogs Max. It's funny, isn't it? I cried when they told me. I'd already lost one of my children. And now they were taking away another one, you understand. The foster family, Mrs. Shepherd. What was the name of the foster family that adopted John's brother? They were really very nice people. I met them, you know. In the beginning, I used to go and see my little boy. And then I got sick and I couldn't go any longer. Perhaps he thought I'd forgotten him. He must have thought I didn't love him anymore. His name, Mrs. Shepherd. What was his name? But I loved him. If you only knew how much I missed him. Please, Anne. His name. What was his name? Come closer. His name was Mr. Mr. Blobby. Blobby. <laughs> Andrew Hall. <laughs> what? <laughs>
Ooh, look, a comfortable chair. This is like 2001 A Space Odyssey. Don't, things don't work like that. It, you will get the last letters of the address. You will have enough time to save your son and say goodbye to him, but then you will die. You can drink the vial or decide to leave. The choice is yours. What do you want to do? Drink it or fuck off? Doesn't say what it is, but Dr. Pepper. Oi, I love Dr. Pepper. <laughs> I did what I had to, Sean. Your dad's coming to save you. Several different addresses fit these letters. God, How far away from the end the are we? Because I think I have, have like 20 minutes off. until I have to go. Um, slightly more than 20 minutes. We won't finish the game, but we'll get pretty close. Well, it was near a train, wasn't it? That's what he was listening to. Well, listen to it again. Uh, 
There's a train and some seabirds screeching, I think. So what do you think? One, two, or three? You've got to choose. I can't really see, but we'll go three. Okay. Give me just a second. Is it near the tracks? I think so. It's difficult for me to see as well, but... um, I think it is, because I think that's up near a big river, and that could be what the seagulls screeching are. Um, It's the one I would have picked in isolation. So. I only have time yeah. for it. Yeah. We'll okay. It's a crapshoot. Well, we've locked this one in, Ethan, so. Woo, a trophy for drinking the poison. Oh, now we're gonna die. got a few more hours left to save Sean Mars. There has to be a goddamn clue somewhere. It's probably staring me in the face. This kid's gonna die, and I'm going around in circles! All packed up and ready to go? What are you talking about? The investigation's over. We know who did it. No longer need your services anymore, Norman. So you can ride your files all the way back to Washington. I'd be lying if I said I was gonna miss you. The investigation isn't over. You have absolutely nothing on Mars. Mars is guilty. Case closed. Anyway, it's no concern of yours now. You're off the case. So pack up and fuck off. Blake. You are an unbalanced, psychopathic asshole! I'll take that as a compliment. Honestly, I don't give a shit what you think. I found the origami killer. Everyone's happy. End of story. Have a nice trip back, Norman. Killer's name is here. Somewhere in this data. I just have to find it. Find it before it's too late. Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. It'll end up killing you if you're not careful. That would be most unfortunate, sir. Harry was in record mode when I was fighting with the killer. Perhaps there's something on it.
the sword was already in Paco's office. It's got nothing to do with the killer. Watch. I'm sure I've seen this before somewhere. The watch they give for promotions to Lieutenant. The killer is a cop. Noticed that basket. Good for you. <clears throat> I don't know if there's anything else to analyze. Pretty sure Mr. Blobby wears a gold watch too. You're really stuck on it being Mr. Blobby now, aren't you? The gun the killer left at the Blue Lagoon. Perhaps there's some way of tracing its history. Impounded in a police case five years ago, the gun is still supposed to be in police custody. Who checked it out? If not a cop. I just can't see who else it would be. It <laughs> clearly, clearly it's Mr. Blobby. Makes sense to me. Two receipts from the same gas station. Might be near the killer's home. Oh, that doesn't get us anywhere. The killer lives in this zone. 342 people live around there. Not good enough. Gotta find a means of identifying the killer more precisely. Looks like the killer is a cop. Carter Blake! That would explain the dead-end investigation and his desire to frame Ethan Mars. Do you want to accuse Blake or investigate further? Okay, give me just one sec.
Okay. I've got... One sec. Oh, bloody email saying energy's rising. Right, let's accuse Blake then if that's what you want to do. Show me your left breast. What? Your left breast. Killer's got the same gold watch. Yeah, and so does every other cop in this precinct who's made lieutenant. So does every person who's ever bought one in some shitty mall. What's your fucking point? It's a pretty odd coincidence. What are you trying to say? What are you accusing me of being the origami killer? No or yes. No. Okay. No. No, of course not. You know what, Norman? Sometimes I think you have absolutely no fucking idea what you're talking about. Now get out of my face. Some of us have real work to do. Why did you change your mind? There's only one cop in that geoprofiling zone. Gotcha. He owns a warehouse on the docks. If I'm wrong, Sean Mars is dead. I kinda regret it, but he is right. That a lot of cops would have the watches, but I don't know. Well, we found a new suspect, so... the right car at the docks call the SWAT team oh and I'll need a chopper today of course I'll need it today you fucking imbecile car oh, he's not very pleasant is he The horn is coming back. Rising. I'm hurrying. I'll be right back. 
He's at the top of the hole, though so surely the water would just go over. That is the point I made last time. Like, it doesn't matter how much the water rises. Like, it's not actually going to go over his head if he's stuck at that level. Like, if he doesn't, as long as he doesn't let go, he's not going to die. He'll be very uncomfortable, but... Worst case scenario, he might lose his foot. Dun, dun, dun. a pipe full of water there anyway. Dun dun dun. Did you see this coming? see anything coming in this game it seems are you very shocked I just can't believe it wasn't Mr. Blobby. I mean, one could argue <laughs> if one was being particularly cruel. Did you see that coming? Beautiful boy. Mummy's beautiful boy. Come here, come have a cuddle. Ooh, a 
we've got a trophy. Find I'm all the clues. Thing. Yes, but we did it in the end. We got a silver trophy for finding all the clues using Ari and find the origami killer. Right. Oh Lord in heaven. Off the end, are we? Uh, if you're in any sort of time pressure, I'd stop. Because we're, we're not far, but it depends how long it takes me to do these bits as well. Um, God damn it. Oh my god, I'm turning the thing! Maybe like half an hour from the end? Yeah, then lost your touch, girl. Origami Killer's apartment. There must be something that'll tell me where Sean Mars is. Probably leave it until next time then. Are you uh, you're talking like overnight tonight? No worries if not. No, I probably shouldn't in case I go back to work tomorrow. He used to be a cop. Probably knew exactly how an investigation would be carried out. That's where the smell of burning comes from. Evidence going up in smoke. Well, if you want to leave it there, we'll we'll leave it here before anything more exciting decides to happen. And then we should get it done the next time we play. Okay, okay. we'll sort something out. I feel like we've got a lot done this week. Yeah. We're almost at the end. Alright, we'll leave her here.